it looks like the autonomous coding agent Klein has gotten a massive new update. Introducing features like task timeline, you have Gemini implicit caching, and a whole lot more. Honestly, this update makes Klein one of the best free AI coding assistants that's available right now. Just this past weekend, the Klein team had released version 3.15, and it's packed with a lot of new capabilities and features. We're talking about new model integrations, powerful features, UX improvements, and a lot more. There's so much to this, and this is why we're making a full-on video covering all of these new features. For those who are unfamiliar with Klein, it's an autonomous coding agent that runs directly within your IDE, whether that's VS Code, Cursor, Windsurf, or many other IDEs that are out there. It can create and edit files, run terminal commands, use the browser, and much more with your permission each step of the way, or you can have it run autonomously. Plus, it even offers a free Copilot compatible API giving you access to state-of-the-art models at zero cost. So now that we have gotten all that out of the way, let's dive into what's new, starting off with the biggest feature in my opinion, which is the task timeline. This is a visual storyboard of your coding conversation. If you ever wished you could see how Klein tackled a complex task, this is something that will show you step-by-step step as to how it does so. This is where on the right-hand panel, or the top panel, you'll be able to see the sleek timeline made of visual blocks. Each block represents a key step from your own prompt to Klein's tool calls, whether that's browser actions or file edits. It's not something that's just there for your visual appeal, it's something that brings in functionality. If you hover over any block, you'll get an instant summary of what happened and exactly when it happened. It's having an instant replay of your coding session. Now the main reason why they've implemented this is because when AI coding agents like Klein operate with nearly full context windows around 50% or more, they start to bug out, they start to begin to degrade in terms of their performance, resulting in slower responses, missed instructions, or less relevant code. And to prevent this, this new update, the version 3.15, introduces intelligent context management using built-in context tracking and customizable Klein rules. This rule is going to allow you to define a threshold where if it's greater than 50% context, this is where Klein will automatically prepare to start a fresh new task using the new task tool. Crucially, this translation is something that will seamlessly be visualized in the task timeline, which is where you can clearly see where the context limits are and when they're actually hit and how Klein actually responded, offering full transparency into the session flow. So when a new task begins, only essential information like key files, recent summaries, as well as goals is carried over while the full history of the previous task is being preserved. And it's going to ensure high performance when giving you a visual storyboard of how Klein manage complex workflows behind the scenes. Moving on to the next feature, this is where one of the product leads on Twitter rolled out with a powerful new feature talking about how Gemini 2.5 models will introduce implicit caching. Starting this week, developers won't need to manually configure cache settings for repeated prompts. This means that Gemini will automatically apply caching behind the scenes, while explicit caching will still be available, especially if you want guaranteed cache hits. Implicit caching will significantly reduce friction and cost for most users. Google is also working on improvements like clear cache hit indicators, there's refined timeout logic for explicit caching, and even a new AI Studio usage dashboard that will be launching in the coming weeks. They're also exploring showing estimated API costs directly in the response, and it's going to let you get more insights as to where your tokens are being used, as well as how much are being used for each generation. And with this new Google release, what the client devs did is that they have implemented and integrated Gemini's implicit caching, and the results are kind of impressive. You can now automatically save up to 75% on token costs when reusing parts of their reprompts. So without any sort of e extra configuration, you're going to be able to save a lot more in terms of the token expenditure, which is a major move towards making high quality AI more affordable, especially during long iterative coding tasks. Another small new feature is that they are open sourcing clients docs, which is definitely a great benefit for people who are looking forward to understanding the configurations behind the autonomous coding agent. 
with climb 3.15 it also brings a lot of new ux improvements you have file edits which no longer steal focus previously when you were using climb to edit a file the interface could become kind of unresponsive which would temporarily lock you out of typing scrolling or navigating through your project but now they have fixed this feature where you can seamlessly continue interacting with your ide you can write your next prompt, scroll through your code, or jump between files, all while Klein works in the background. It's a subtle new feature, but it's pretty powerful, which is going to give you more accessibility when Klein is actually generating. I personally think this is a great new feature, which is where you can quote messages within the chat interface, which is going to make conversations more precise, as well as giving feedback to the AI more clear. So if you want to reference a specific part of your previous message, just simply go ahead and highlight it. And then you can click on the quotation button, which will then reference it back within the chat interface so that you can work with the AI to eliminate any sort of error that you have, or you can request it to work on a plan that you want to implement within the actual interface. So this is a great new feature, which is going to give you more uh, ways to actually target feedback or add individual steps or suggestions to Klein. Now, something else they added is that they added this robot feature, which makes the chat interface a little bit easier to look at, as well as a couple of small UX design features. You can see the formatting is a lot better. You can manage your models better. All of these things are something that were already there from the last update, but this is where the formatting of the UX looks a lot more cleaner and easy to use. Now within the settings tab, there is the ability to access a free model, which is something that you might be looking for if you do not have the budget to test out all these other providers. But if you want to try out a free API, select the VS Code LM API, make sure you log in with your GitHub account. And then this way you can access all these state of the art models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, as well as the GPT models completely for free. There is a rate limit on a monthly basis. so don't think that this is unlimited usage. This is just a way for you to try out and see which model works for you and see if, if it is something that would be best to create any sort of app with. Now the client team has also added a couple of new models from the Mistral provider as well as with other models. So you can now access the new Mistral large model, which is going to be available within the API provider Mistral, and you will be able to access this new model. They also have a couple of new model providers that have been now integrated and they have also added new models within those providers. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Now, aside from all the features I already mentioned, they have improved and updated a lot of things like a couple of bug fixes they fixed as well as small improvements to the other features a part of Klein, which you can take a look at within the change log. They have a detailed list of all the things they've changed a part of this update. They've already released a Klein uh, 3.15.2 update which has a lot of other fixes as well. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can get uh, enlightened on all the new fixes that have been made, as well as leaving a link to the blog post, which also talks about a lot of new features that have been added further in detail. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, got some sort of value out of it. If you're interested in installing Klein, you can install for whatever ID you want. I'll leave a link to VS Code's uh, download page in the description below install it for whatever operating system you have and then you can simply go over to the visual studio marketplace and click install which will then prompt you to install the extension within the ide but that's essentially how you can install it and that's essentially the update version 3.15 that client had just released i'll keep you guys posted if there is any new update but that's basically it guys i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you take a look at our second channel and subscribe to the newsletter join our private discord as well as following me on twitter and subscribing to the youtube channel turn on notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos it would really mean a lot if you can do so but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas